everyone, welcome to new Popper video. I'm playing once again Blue Red Scred in Popper. Is this weekend I have a, a Popper Invitational um, qualifier uh, in my in my region. Quite excited to play Popper in paper again after a long time. The deck of choice will be of course uh, Blue Red Scred. I'm starting from the same main deck I had in my last video. My last uh, five zero plus a couple of changes in the cyber. I added some pyroblo some hydroblasts, a Kawan Gorilla Shaman. Uh, rest of the cyborg is the same. I saw that Spock Vidaloka was trying the energy package of Galvanic um, Discharge and Tune the Narrative. But first thing first, what I want to say is that Tune the Narrative isn't good. It's just not good. So if you put it in your deck, you're just putting a bad card in your deck. And I don't think this deck needs Galvanic Iteration because you already have a uh, Scred, Galvanic Discharge. So you just don't need more removal spell for that. Actually, Bolt Going Face is an additional angle that this deck can have. So I like uh, to keep the deck as it is. Seal Librarian, thank you, yeah. When the RCQ yesterday, Modder, which actually lets me go and play uh, this uh, deck, this, 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 this format on Sunday. Um, anything else to say? Well, again, Ogre of Bolas was a card I was playing in the past. Now you just play full cantrip to boost the uh, Tolerant Terror. Thank you, thank you. This was the RC Ancona. Forest. Glade Covert Scout. <laughs> That's going to be a tough matchup. Boggles, always a uh, always tough uh, enemy for fear decks, especially when they keep seven. They play Utopia Sprawl. To me, this means they don't have a second land. To me, they have planes, but the deck actually has an awful mana base. Like the deck is a very like it's the embodiment of a luck deck, so you just. Hope you make them stumble and you win this way because your deck is much more consistent than theirs. So in the long term, uh, you'll always uh, win against Boggles. Unfortunately, Magic, you're not playing in the long term. You're actually playing in the short term, so they can have the nuts against you. And that will make you feel bad. But I'll keep on countering. I think that's exactly what you want to do against that deck. Just deny the spells that let them play magic and just make them draw a lot of uh, auras. Okay. Uh, things I can do here. I think I'll go preordain first. Bottom both. Okay. Uh, uh, Spepis is very good. I'm gonna go ponder because okay, I want to find the land here. Shuffled. Unfortunate, I didn't find a land. I have to pass here. I can't go brainstorm. I need to keep up spell beers. You need to keep on denying their deck to be functional. Yeah, I'm quite unlucky to not see a land in the top. Uh, what was it? I don't know. A lot of cards with Prairie and Ponder. I think that's still better than casting Brainstorm. Because uh, Brainstorm is like exactly this now. Like, I have to. I can just pass with mana up, and I can either cast counter or brainstorm. That's exactly what you want to do. Whereas sorcery speed, you know. Let's see what they do now. Rancor. I'll keep on countering. They concede. Good. We got Anul. We got Breath Weapon. And it's like, they can see because they can't play Magic, but our deck actually annoys, like, how do you say, disrupts them from playing Magic. So if we weren't playing Counter, if we were just playing our game, they would also be able to play their game and maybe trump us. 
So blue decks actually punish the luck decks. I think Monarchs are bad. I think Monarchs are bad in this matchup. But also Removal's Bowl should be bad. Maybe I can cut one because they still have like random creatures. Oh, you know what they have here actually? They have the bird that has protection from red. Maybe Scred actually has no targets. It's possible that Scred has no target. Fang Flames actually kills that thing, the protection from red uh, uh, bird. That's an interesting way to think of the a matchup. You just have to think about magic this way. Magic is like this. The decks that have control over its draws and its opponent tend to be better in the long term. And then obviously your opponent can just have the nuts and your deck is underpowered. But you trade some power level for the... Okay, this time they go took a Sprawldern one. Strong. I wish I... I wish I was in the play. Mm, I'll pass. Well, that will let rumble. That's very good. Very strong. They took Utopia Sprawl. I'll counter this. When's the proper invitational qualifier? Sunday. Aporto San Giorgio. Also known as PSG. Uh, Glade Cover Scout. Unfortunately, no counter spell for me. And now like, they have access to their their collars, so I probably won't be able to do anything in this game. I'll just lose. They have two cards left. Okay, that's a very good draw. I'll go brainstorm here. I can win this. It's not easy, but I can win this. All right, so I need to use all my all my mana this turn. I have three cards. I have to go to four. I have to go to five. Next turn, I can go to six, and then drop double bearer. So that's my plan here. Yeah. I actually have to. Yeah, leave the mountain on top. You know what? Probably I don't dis. I don't dis. I like uh, what I'm saying is that I like all these three cards here. So I just use ponder to cycle. Let's see what's the third. What the third card is? Another cage rip. Mm. Yeah, I think I like even this Azure Fleet Army Earl. Yeah. I just draw all of this. Next turn, I can go. I have five cards in the graveyard. I can go preordain bolt and double terror, or even just preordain double terror. Hold up, bolt. Not the bolt goes anywhere. I have to hope they don't have any powerful uh, auras. All right, that's not it. That one is ancestral mask. Ay ay ay. But ten. Double terror. They have one card in end. I don't have any interaction. I could have bolted the thing, but it would have still played on Sister Mask and next to her Sentinel's Eyes, so it's the same. Sure. I have to hope they don't have an aura. 
They don't. Nice. Okay. They don't attack me. Weird, but okay. Alright, I have to play this and hope they dodge. They, they, I hope we dodge. Pass. If we dodge and draw counter spell, maybe there's a chance. Wow, they passed. They must they have dodged. We have dodged. Okay. Fortunately, we don't have a way to get through now, but maybe I'll draw it. Murmuring Mystic. Lorian revealed. Is this good? Nah, it's not. I want to draw counter spell. Is this good? Yes. A null. Va bene. Va bene, let's draw a null. Uh, ponder ability, no. Island, I'll play terror and pass. Maybe I shouldn't have played terror because I also draw spell pierce now, end of turn. Could have a double. I, I thought their hand is probably a land anyway. They play a land and they play ancestral mask. All right, let's spell pierce this. And they still pass. Now I draw two every turn, but game is still tough. Actually, I don't know, we'll see. Unfortunately, this thing can't can't just can be blocked or uses the monarch control. Yeah. It's not like Aragorn where if you're the monarch, creatures can't block. This is called Pauper. Green. Okay. That one's fine. Maybe Lauren Review should have kept, but at the end of the day, I drew I drew pretty well with that. Uh, I think I'll play this. I have, like, no ways to cycle anyway. And I can draw Brainstorm to shuffle away my Bolt and Lens. I should have played this Mountain earlier. Green-White. Ethereal Armor. Counter. Would I deck myself? That's the question. Not fetching. Is that burns my deck? Also ponder my deck. Did I side out murmuring mystic? I didn't. Yeah, that's a card in the Ooh, breath weapon. Now that's good. Now that's good. I'll uh yeah, I'll accept this. Shuffle uh is pointer ability no. I'll fetch. Island and pass. I guess I have a way to win. I can just attack. I have a way to win by just Attacking with all, they take 13, and they just bolt you, so maybe I shouldn't have shuffled the bolt. Nice, another one. I'll still hold this breath weapon, I don't want to tell my opponent I have it. So just untap. Fang Flames. Wait a second, I actually do this now. Oh, never mind. I can't target as X brief. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, then attack into double breath. Huh. Maybe it's not a bad idea. Attack with all. Actually, if they don't block with this, I'm dead. So I should at least leave that back. Okay, so I should attack with all and play breath. Opponent will block for sure, and then I'll play another breath. Yeah, that's my plan, right? Yeah, because those have a counter spell, so even if they take it and they draw an aura, yeah. I think this is my line. 
You say you win. Uh, this one doesn't go face. All right, let's play breath weapon. Let's see playing with modern if he could target face. So we play breath weapon. No, but I only do double breath if they don't block. Sorry, if they block. If they don't block, I don't do double breath. Uh, so here I just say, okay. Because well, if they take it, I lose. This game. So we we took risks in this game, and uh, it was important to, to you know tap out in certain spots, hoping they would break, which they did. Again, you know, luck decks brick, and uh, we got the win. Great, right, that's a keep. Is blue red my favorite combination? Yeah, for sure. Ooh, playing against another challenging matchup. Uh, the black green um, control. They're also splashing red for Chrysalis now, which makes it even tougher than it used to be. That's okay. We have the monarchy. With the monarchy, everything is possible. We have two monarch cards. We need to find them. Bong. That means they have no more lands. Because this card is very good against me. Shuffle away two bolts. My opponent will take a moment now to go uh, deadly dispute for sure. No? Okay. Alright, with these type of decks, uh, the most important thing to do is develop mana. So don't play on top land if you can play them tapped without changing your plan too much. Okay? Very important. Crip Rats. It's a bad card, I don't care. I'll uh, go Ponder. I'll shuffle these. I'm sure I can find better. I bought them both of these. I don't want removal spell in this matchup. I, mean, no, I also don't want lands, but you know, it could have been a monarch card. Like you have to dig for the good cards, the monarch. Empty board, cast monarch, win. That's how this matchup has to go in order for you to win it. Let's keep on preordaining. I'll, I'll draw counters, but it's not a monarch, but it's a very good card. Unfortunately, there's no way for you to shuffle per sorry, cycle perilous landscape. And it shouldn't. This card uh, is treated as a um, Ashbarans, basically. Sure, I don't counter Lambas. I don't care. You have to counter the good cards. Lambus is just, it's fine. It's like a preordained, but more expensive. They missed land drops. Grank on top. That's weird. I don't move. I don't move. I have land drops. They don't. In these spots, you just pass back. Moving is a mistake. Like you, we gain card advantage by them either going to discard or... Yeah, I mean, they, they top deck a land, sure, but, you know, we just, we don't move, because if we start moving, they, they can cast their cards, and, and it's bad. Unless, of course, we have the Monarch, then maybe we can consider moving, but that's not the case. But until I have land drop, I will not move. That's how I play against control deck, with mid-range. Their move up for sure, I mean, that's a, the deck is full of that. So they go to one step and they go to this card, so we make card advantage. 
Unfortunately, now I will also need to do something because I also have to go to discard. And of course, going to discard is a crime. Opponents move in here. They play Fanatical Offering. This is just a draw too, so I think I'll let them do that. They have 10 cards in hand. It's fine for me. I don't like to counter counters. Sorry, to counter card draws. Here I scred this one so they don't gain value from the map. Even though there's just a one one with no abilities, I think it's still fine to do that. Deadly Dispute. Uh, Deadly Dispute uh, is much better than... Um, than uh, Fanatical Offering, because it actually gives you a treasure. The treasure lets you cast um, cards. But here you go to 11 cards in end. So I think once again, I will let this resolve, just because it's unlike, like, you'll probably be discarding a couple of cards. The worst one is they find like something like Duress. Sure, they got a 10 cards. You don't counter, as I said earlier, you don't counter draw spells. And they go to discard of three. You keep Perilous Landscape here because of um, Fetchland. They discard probably three removal spells. Snuff out, cast down Lambas. Glare and Terror. Okay, so now uh, they should have land drop for next turns. So I could move here. Let's see if it's correct to do that. The problem with going to layer, yeah, I think I'll do to layer and tear mostly because of the word to element that it has. So when I can't go end of turn removal, I can't go into turn defile. So that's to untap, maybe play the um, edict effect, the, uh, what's the name, the one that flips. I'll counter that. Ooh, a cursed marauder. I think I just have to accept this. It's just a removal spell. I can't counter a removal spell. In this matchup, they have too many. Nice, nah, also perfectly timed to Lyran Terror before they can Bushuka bog me. Perfectly timed. Yeah, so far I'm very happy with my plays. I would be happier if I draw Monarch. If I draw Monarch, I just win on the spot. Monarch with two counter spells back up, but it's over. In my old uh, 5 trophy with this deck, and by old I mean like maybe last month, I beat uh, Black Green as well. Okay, I think now I like to play Loose Focus, mostly because this card may be bad late game. I have to spend a lot of mana into it, and now I think it's a pretty, pretty good target. Like, that's a very good card, Deadly Dispute. And I have three other counter spells, too. So now, if earlier we wanted to compress them to go to discard, now we want them to go to Flood. Nice! We found it. That's a win. GG. I mean, we've dug a lot too deep with the cantrips, eventually just, you know, find your cards. Kill it doesn't matter. Very important for the monarchy and initiative cards to be in pauper, so that, uh, you know, non-black decks can be good control decks. You can't just load your deck with removal spells and wait, you just lose to the monarchy this way. Okay, let me think about this though. I think I should actually deploy this because I, otherwise I go to this card. I'll accept the file. I don't mind. Is this card an instant lose? If you discard a card, you probably miss. Uh, 
miss how do you say you missed um miss sequence your your hand if you discard of course sometimes you're like minus curious so you have to do that but if you have lands and you go to discard you made a mistake for sure uh, i think i'm gonna go land mystic yes. Now I can go, probably just go double spell pierce here. I think it's good to go double spell pierce. This card doesn't really have a use. And um, if they kill my mystic now, it's fine. I'll accept it. I have to hold up counter spell for the monarchy. Okay, what is their last card that can be devastating? I think there's like a plethora of card I can have that is devastating, like maybe Bloodfind is the one I'm thinking of. So I just accept that, I don't care. Like this is, this game, it's a lesson on how to play against control deck, which is always try to win with two counter spells in end. Try to play around everything that can possibly have. Just deploy the monarchy and just wait. And eventually you'll be victorious. You don't need to counter removal spells. You don't need to counter draw spells. You don't need to counter threats. You only need to like hold them for like an exceptional uh, scenario. All right. Um, Cyber against black green. Mm. My Cyber seems to be all bad. Does Anul do anything? I guess it does. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. Everything seems quite bad here. I'll submit. You like Negrix's frog video on YouTube? Thank you. Yeah, that was a very good video. This end is weak, but it is what it is. Why there's only one Admiral in the list? You also have the, the other one, the 5-2. They, they both have the Monarchy. You have a couple of Monarchy cards. That's enough. You don't want to play too many of that effect. It can be very clunky. It's a 4-mana card that uh, you can't cast in some scenarios. Next with card draws, don't need to play several expensive cards. You need to play just a few so that you can just draw them when you want. I got my mountain here. Yeah, unfortunately, it room auto removal spells, which are bad in this matchup. But again, in my cyber, there's not much I can do anyway. All right, as again, if they play this, it means they don't have any uh, other lands. It's a big sign. Crip rats. That's perfect. Okay, this one I'll uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But yep, they missed a land drop as foretold. Okay, so now there's a world where I tap out, and I think it's this world. Now they can't resolve a monarchy, but unfortunately, I don't have a removal spell for it anyway. So if they have the monarchy, sorry, counters before it anyway. If they just jam the monarchy next turn, yeah, they just pass back. This game is so over. This game is very much over. Uh, what do I do? I certainly don't want to go or revealed. Um, I think my play here is Island Murmuring Mystic, because I want to just trade a bunch of cards so I can play another Lord reveal next turn. So for example, when I play this, they will go uh, counter, sorry, removal spells, I go brainstorm response. 
make a token which is valuable to gain back the monarchy all right there it is crimson fleet commodore perfect to regain back the monarchy uh i think i'll do this because there's no discard spell for this only for like duress so I'll just put the best card on top of my deck it's not that I want to shuffle away this. Never, I never said that. What in deck, you know? Very clunky, Garak, super smooth. Always want to be on this side. Just play the monarchy, game over. Sure. I'll probably also play this. Oh, I can't. If I cycled this, I could have. Maybe that was better. Yeah, should have cycled Anga Island. I could have played Terror. It's okay. I think you're the best play is actually Lore Revealed, because I don't have any counter spell yet. So I need to draw into it. There it is. I'll go Island and discard a uh, uh, Volatile Fjord. And also a Preordain. My opponent plays a card. It's not a good one. Their hand may be mm, Chrysalis. Or I think Chrysalis. I think I gem a brainstorm, even though I can easily be brainstorm locked. I don't care. All right, I won't be. Put him at the bottom. I misclick. I misclicked. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, terror and pass with two counter spells up. Another card I can have here is a uh, Sacrifice Outlet, like Deadly Dispute. So I just decided that, you know, their hand is clunky and they just drew this. So if I counter this, their hand still remains clunky. All right, a very easy win in the first match. Oh, two match. I forgot we played two. All right, so very easy cruising with this deck. Uh, always a pleasure to play. Again, I can't wait to play it in paper. Round number three. Without any lands. Can't play without those. Alright, that's a keep. I have to bottom a card. I think it'll be a breath weapon. In the dark. It's good against few matchups. But it is. Forest Land or Elf. Well, that is the matchup where it was good against. And then tap. Let's see if I draw. I was going to say Island. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> Not a great one here. Green Green, Priest of Titania, and Birchla Ranger, and nothing. Okay. I'll uh, kill the Priest of Titania, or maybe not. Yeah, I'll just leave you with mana. I need to keep both for Timber Watch. Everything else is just mana. Winding Way. Jasper Sentinel, Lead Stampede. Wow, you only got one card? Unlucky. Very unlucky.
Very unlucky. Murmuring Mystic. Go. You have two cards in hand. Hopefully you don't have more of this Winding Whaley to Stampede cards. Timber Watch, again. We have Bolt for that. No, three of them. That's too many. It's too many. <sighs> okay, you need to draw some cantrips now. Ponder, Preordain, Brainstorm, cards like that. Preordain, very strong. Huh. Terror, Admiral. Hmm. So I can actually go Terror this turn and Admiral next turn. The problem... Is there a problem with this? Okay, so now I go Bolt on Timberwatch and I can play Terror. When I can... I have no cards in it. When I can pump older elves... Yeah, I think it's good. I think I should leave the Admiral on top too, yeah. Yeah, let's see what I do now. They only have one Timber Watch. They don't have a Queer Ranger to untap it. Okay, so they can give plus six. Yep, yeah. they can give plus six. So that becomes a... Now, okay, I'll just take it. They can't really tap it? Yeah, exactly. All right, and then I go Admiral now. And I pass. I start the monarchy, similarly to the match against um, Boggles. Oh, he drew the fourth Timber Watch. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible draws. I didn't even draw can drip. Terrible, terrible draws here. <sighs> End of turn draw. Yeah, preordain. Would have been nice earlier. If you play a spell, I'll definitely lose focus to get a token into play. You're attacking me now. You have two Timber Watch active. Is that just that? Sure, I'll jump it. I can play this game. Uh, do I want to cycle or revealed? Nah. Preordain. Okay, scred. Top, top. The loose focus was never standard play. It was printed in a Modern Horizons too. Bottom, top. Actually, I can attack with a flying uh, creature now. My opponent has no reach. Is this a good attack? 367? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It actually is. Can I draw end of turn? Ooh. 
it's always the monarchy. It's always the monarchy. This deck is so monarchy is so important for this deck. Yes, you actually like have no card advantage. So this is what gives you card advantage. Okay, what do we want to do now? Um, I think I don't want to cycle Lorian. I'll just draw. Counterspell. Strong. I can play Murmuring Mystic. I can attack with the Bird Illusion. Why keep this Scred when they have double Timber Watch out? Uh, because when they tap this Timber Watch eventually, I'll play Scred. What are you looking for? And it's better than Scred. There's not that many cards that I'm looking for now. Counter spell, I guess. Queer Ranger. I'll play Counter Spell on this. And I'll tap out. Okay, they decide to attack with all. Uh huh. Okay. Now. Uh, yeah, this block seems like the best one. I think of the energy version. Um, not a fan. I think two narrative is a very bad card. Yeah, these blocks are perfect. Now, for example, if I had a spare mana, the scred would have been very good. I just decided not to cycle this lore and reveal. Maybe it was a mistake. The scred would have, you know, killed Timberwatch. I mean, it does kill, kill Timberwatch. That's not even an apothetical thing. It just does. Team is very much over, and as always, what's this? What's this? Vines of Avasimon. And as always, the reason it was is because of the monarchy. Breath weapon, fang flames, cast into flames. Lose focus out. Uh, spell pierce out. And let's go. Oh, they bring in Hydroblast, so maybe I can bring in Pyroblast. Yeah, yeah, Murmuring Mystic. Murmuring Mystic as well. Yeah, that's true. Let's not forget about that. Just better. As always, with this deck, play Toplands first, and then play Spells. Is Loose Focus better than Mana Leak? Yes. You can counter two spell on this deck. It comes up. Cascade comes up a lot. I mean, it wouldn't say a lot, but it comes up. Cast into fire. Okay, winding way. Let's see what you got this time. All right. Uh... Okay. Where are your ranger? Birchla ranger. A tougher one? Oh, you leave up mana. If you leave up mana, it means that you have um, a protection spell like a pyroblast or a hollow. Sorry, Hydroblast or a Hollow. 
Allora, they play um, Elvish Vanguard. How much mana do you have? I think I'll play counter spell. Jonopsy. This is yesterday's league, yeah. I, you know, stream it at different times and record it to be one whole video for the YouTube channel. Let's put the pieces together. Mm hmm, Timber Watch. Eh. Unfortunately, I have to hold my opponent doesn't have a, um, a protection spell here. Let's see. They use Queer Ranger and tap. No, they don't have it. Okay, cool. I'll go for Preordain. Mm, I'll bottom now. I just want to find uh, things, not just cantrips. I don't know that cantrips can find things, but I already have a cantrip, so I don't need more. Timber Watch. At this point, I'm gonna say they don't have a protection spell, because they could have a used it. Oh, I guess this is, this is the void. Ah, right, right. They, 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 they can't protect against the void. This is mostly for the two, three protection from all, but here it was very good too. El Amadone Fulmini. Uh, <laughs> that's a very good find. Uh, I'll bottom this too. Now I'll go bolt uh, on the timber watch. I'll put it with attempt to protect it with a hydroblast, I think, or hollow. And we just do another one. No, it goes okay. Even better. Um, I'll cycle or revealed. I got an island into play. And then I'll uh, play Cast Into Fire. Ping Ping. Alright, Drew Winding Way, what'd you flip? Mm, nothing. Yeah, my old Sidon cards. Elvish Mint, okay, so you still have Jasper in hand. Five, five for one, pass. I don't need to kill any of those. Is Gates dead? No, why, why would it be? Attack for five. Eh, pass. I mean, I can, I can cast this. I can play this period of this landscape as well, but... There's no way to cycle it, uh, brainstorm into something. Uh, do I want to trade uh, damage like this? Sure. Four damage for five. I'll be happy with it. All right, that's a great draw. No, 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 okay. Okay. Our opponent chooses not to block. I appreciate it. All right, moving to 3-0, adds up, adds up. <clears throat> Round number four, playing against uh, Wild Growth. Okay. Wish I wasn't the play. <laughs> True statement always. Let's see if they have a Thermocrest turn two. Mm 
Okay, forest into Eldrazi Reproposer. Okay. All of Fetch Up an Island with Laura Revealed. And then I'll bolt the Reposer, but maybe end of turn. I don't need to bolt in now. Okay. Okay, do I want to bolt it now? Hmm. All right, I think so. So what's gonna happen is now they can play a three uh, drop like a Thermocrast around Spell Pierce. If they do, they do. But it could have also done it before. I keep on cycling because of um, Clear and Terror. Okay. I'll draw a couple of terror before fetching with the landscape. I'll uh, scred the Arbor Elf. So you can't go to, you know, lots of mana. To play like a 5 7 that makes a food. And if you had the 5 4 that gives you the initiative, I would have already. They would have already cast it. Or, all right. Let's hope they cascade a card I can spell Pierce. Nope. Okay. I'll uh, do a um, a cool play here. Since I have a terror into land on top of my deck. I'll use Perilous Landscape to give for mana instead of shuffling. So I can cast double terror and then in upkeep shuffle. You know, realize Ponda was a common until now. Yeah. Very good in Popper. <laughs> But it's still without a second caller. Well, the Rumble is a great draw for them. But still without second caller. Yeah, they go Mountain. They have second caller. And they play Chrysalis. No, what's this? Oh, a 6 3. Okay. What you cascade into? Come on, a wild growth. You took this brawl. Vuli Acid Moss, okay. Sure, I don't care. <sighs> I held trade. I'll trade board. My hand is not nothing, so I have to trade. I regret that scred on the um, I regret the scred on the Arbor Elf. I definitely do. All right, draw a fresh new card. It's a good one. We are unfortunately brainstorm locked. So we have uh, two turns of nothing ahead of us. Sure. 
Let's draw our, um, I think it's always the Monarch or the 1-5. I have shuffle with all those lore revealed, which in hindsight be like, oh, you should have waited until brainstorm. But thanks to those two shuffle lore revealed, I was able to go double terror on turn four. So it's very important that I did. Okay, Ponza. What do we want to do against Ponza? Wrath weapon's bad. Hmm. Do I want to go some Hydro Blasts? Not too many. I think I'll only bring like maybe not even one, honestly. Yeah, it just seems very bad, Hydroblast. Because it doesn't counter the. Um... Or I think Chrysalis. There's not really a better card than the Breath Weapon, I think. I mean, I can have Fun Flames. To kill the Ripper Proposer, it also kills the 5 4. Yes. Yeah, you can have a Null too. Yeah, you're right. Also, also true. Let's go Preordain. I don't want these lands. I already have slow revealed as lands. Want to find creatures? There's not too many in this deck though. I go ponder, choosing. Uh... Wow, I was going to say one of these cards, but I was able to find zero. It's not very likely. A, I think I'll go Island. Yeah, Island go. Very good draw, Crimson Fleet Commodore. Oh, I could have Anola in case they play the um, Nyxborn Hydra. The MH2 bestow Hydra. Yeah, fortunately, no spell PRs. And they have a lot of mana. Very much mana they have. Mountain, go. We tap seven to play Annoyed Altazor. Let's see what a Cascade. Ah, the Cascade Boarding Party. Still fine though. I need them to Cascade um, Utopia Sprawl now. This is where Liz focus would be nice. 
Nice. Okay. I'm still in it. So I can counter the Altizor. Scred the boarding party, and then I can play Commodore at empty board. All right. Guard is down. Let's see how it goes. Again, similar to Boggles, you gotta hope that things go your way, because obviously if they draw properly, their deck is more powerful. But their deck has a lot of variance in it, so you hope they hit the wrong one. Okay, Boarding Party has haste, and so opponent will be able to steal the Monarchy. I'll steal it back and hopefully I'll draw Bolt or Scred. The fact that they don't play... Oh, never mind, I should have blocked. I, I don't know why I thought that thing had Trample. My bad. My bad. Big mistake, I should have blocked. I don't know why I didn't. Ah... <sighs> All right, my hand is good for next turns. We'll see how we arrive at next turns. Opponent and only has spells in it because they missed land drop last turn. They play Oliophant. It's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. A nice little mountain. I'll play a preordain. Mm -hmm. I'll draw a brainstorm. Do I want to draw it now? Or I'll cast it now, I mean? Nah. Hold up counter spell first. What do you find like it was just so bad? I can't believe you didn't have other plays. You had so much mana and all you did was that thing. Can't be right. Thought owner is just like being restricted in vintage. Good, good choice. I was wondering why they didn't do that earlier. Okay, so Nyx Burn Hydra. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I will have to bring in a null for game three if they have this as well. I mean, this is like whatever, right? Okay, let me go brainstorm because I can find spell peers. I will just ignore the acid moving on acid mumbly atmos. Alright. And I also palm spell peers too. Draw, ponder, ponder. Okay, I'll go land, find flames. 
I think I'll attack here. I get it. They take the monarchy, but pff, they just... Yeah, I think it's fine. I'm gonna push you to five. Four mana. Mavonvoli on the mountain. Sure. I mean, just like game one, this card just sucks so bad in game late game. It's... I mean, land destruction is not a good strategy in Magic. It's only good at this at the very early game, and if you have clock, it's all about board presence and creature. Oh, John Stunner. We go to game three, though. We go to game three. I want the annuls. <sighs> Can cut this. What else do I cut? Can trip. Yeah, game throwing is palms up. Let's see. It's not the best hand, but I'll keep it. Okay. I go and go. I need to find more lands. Ay, ay, ay. This is bad. I'll go on null because this is four mana. But I kept seven all three games and had a very good starting hand. Let's see now if I'm able to find lands with Ponder. If not, the game is over. Oh, I think I have to shuffle. Risky hand, but maybe could have mulliganed. All right, I'll mulligan this end. I don't know the matchup, but it's it's a bad end. All right, keep. Oh, bottom island. One is on five cars at the moment. Another Arbor Elf. Do you guys remember the days of Mona Red being in every league? What happened to Mona Red? I mean, it was just, you know, same ban list. It's not that anything changed. They would just stop playing Mono Red. A bolt. I want to brainstorm in the turn. I think so. I'll be able to shuffle one card, but mostly just yeah, digging a bit deeper to find stuff. One red does beat Ponza. That's for sure. 
This is the initiative card. I think I'll play Brains. Nah. So Brainstorm is free. But I just don't want to be Brainstorm locked. Wow, they just passed. Cool. 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 They have six mana now. Six three haste cascading into Ay 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 Avenging Hunter. Okay. Okay. I'll pre ordain because I know the top card is bad. Bottom both. Offer the trade. And then I'll play Commodore. What's the weak one in modern? Force Energy. Clearly, tier one. I'll pass. And then you have a bunch of combo praying on it, like Storm, Eldrazi, various Eldrazi decks. I'm going to offer the trades. So, I think a block. Nah, maybe not. Nah, I think I have to just gamble. I take it and then they, they get both and then I have to just get them both back. I'm not a biggest fan of control decks. But yeah, people can play ring decks. That's big, but it dies to Scred because I have seven lands. So I need to draw Scred in the top four cards. Let's see if I do them. Of course, you don't play Brace End of Turn because you just limit yourself. Fortunately, I did not find what I wanted. It's definitely unfortunate. All right, think about this. I can also go. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do this. Murmuring Mystic Attack. And I will, if they block, this is trample. So I'll be able to steal the monarchy and the initiative. Shuffling my deck with the initiative. I shouldn't have played land. That's a punt. Because I could have could have played terror this turn. I'm sorry for this mistake, but everything else was perfect. It was a very well played turn, except I shouldn't have played land first. I thought about shuffling, I just didn't think about getting island. Just you know, just think one more second and it's all good. Very glad it didn't block. All right. Again, I could have had a terror in play right now. But it's okay. Thankfully, they don't uh, do too much. So I just block there. Oh, that's it? That's your turn? 
Easy then. Easy game. Triggers. Triggers. Two do two 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 do do two do two 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 do do two do two. Okay, I'll bring in a null now that I know more about mixed bloom hydros. Yes, something I didn't know before. Mulligan? Keep, oh yeah, not gonna win this. The deck is these one. The deck list, I mean. Okay, forest, forest, sure, sure. On there. And game three. A submit. Yes. Yes. Good end. Do I want to go? No, I'll go island. Island go. Okay. Uh, do I go Laura Reveal for Island and just hold up Island next turn? Or I can go Brainstorm. Brainstorm and then Upkeep Shuffle. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like that. Or I can also just not do anything and hold up Spell Pierce. Yeah. I think that's a better idea. Um, yeah. So I just go Mountain Bolt and pass this focus up. And I'll be happy to draw the um, Murmuring Mystic now. Go with triple one drop. It's powerful. Yeah. Um, and if turn all uh, cycle. Get island. It also sense to get the tap land, to be honest. This cost two now. So I'll wait. 
Malevolent Rumble. We got Mephi to counter. Do I want to draw the Murmuring Mystic? Nah, probably not. I just play double spell and pass here. Hoping to draw some more cantrips now. I know it could have been a ponder. Maybe you should just bring it one and all the four breath weapon, that's it. You don't need more. Five mana, Avenging Hunter. Okay, interesting. Let's draw a cantrip into Scred. Sweet. Had it. Okay. Bottom. Bottom. Sweet. Yeah, I'll bottom these two. Then I think I wanna chump attack here. I shuffle my top with the initiative. I'll play tier and I'll still hold up an all. For Nyx Bloom Hydra. And now I have the initiative with a very good board state. And also I shuffled my top. Very important. I'll block. Ooh, breath weapon. Okay. Still the initiative. They go move if they destroy my mountain now, it's annoying. Man, every breath weapon against me is wild. Plus sideboard. I guess they found a very good spot for it though. Attack with terror. Hopefully they don't have power blast. I think if they did it would have done in their turn, so I'm gonna steal the initiative. I should have played this first and put two counters on it. Yeah, I should have done that. It's fine. I'll forge the top one. And play this. One is going to take five from the under CT and then I have another lethal threat. Altazor, sure. Cascade into or a proposer, sure. I'll trap you. You got a five. Drop. Not bad. Uh, so if I attack with all, yeah. You, I guess you can double block. Double block this and chump this. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should just can't attack now. Yeah, I can't attack. I'll near I'll pass. Uh, 
health block. <laughs> if you have something, uh, play it. It is trample, so... Yeah, they will steal, uh... Initiative and Monarchy. So maybe I should have team blocked. But then it would have killed more things. I'll just steal it back, it's no problem. Yeah, we'll only side in one on all for breath weapon, that's it. I don't want to cut ponder for it. Whenever you have to cut ponder, it means that you know, you're making a mistake. They're rare that <laughs> there's cards better than ponder in the game of magic. Speaking of which, here's my ponder. Uh, it's not insane, but like, I can't uh, shuffle away a clear and terror. This is unblockable, by the way. You said in three breath weapon. It's crazy. You think you draw them all? Go. And GG. No, not GG yet. Chrysalis. Okay. But will want me to enjoy the last chapter of the Undercity. You have all these cards. I guess you drew them like with Monarchy plus Draw Step. Yeah, all the explanation. All right, let's finish the Undercity. Do I find it? I was going to say the one five thing, but nope. I found the Crimson Flake Commodore. Draw, ponder. Oh, again, the shuffles are. Uh, I can't attack. Land go. Game is actually not over. Unless I draw a bolt. Nope, just lands. Oh, my opponent attacks me. So my thing is unblockable and I win. The line of testic secret, they'll never know it. They'll attack. Nope. And let's go again. Time to trap. I'm gonna trap. Oh no, never mind. No trap. First chapter is that one. Or revealed. And draw a lightning bug to finish this game. Nope. No pen. Uh, do I attack though? I think so. This thing is trample. It will be a good attack. How much damage it is? Set to do an Hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, um, I guess now I should go scred. I don't even know if it's lethal. I guess not. Yeah, it's not lethal, but you have to suck yeah, like a lot of those. You go to one. Sure, you go to two. 
Put an attached a life. No, I was gonna fool me. Uh, all right, it's F6. But all right, now I will bolt you. Okay, GG. 4 1. No 5 0. This is not a 5 0, but it's okay. I'll take it. Sometimes the Ponza. The Ponza people get you. Great deck. Always a pleasure to play it. I hope it's always a pleasure for you to watch it. And if you did on YouTube, you know, do the, do the, do the classic. Like, subscribe, tell us what to play next. We have played a Mango's Workshop video yesterday with. Mono Blue versus Jungle. Thank you, thank you.